It's a lot. I mean, I don't think I understood. And I, there's, you know, there's literally a billion people who understand this. Motherhood is crazy. Mm. Like, birth is traumatic in this experience where all of a sudden you created a human. Like, it's the closest thing I've ever felt to nature. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Ari Chambers here with Team USA. And this is Adeline Gray, who you just win. All you do is win, honey. <laughs> and there she goes. Adeline Gray piling up the turns, and that will do it. You're winning in life because we got to witness your perfect little angels oh. running around, honestly, little They're athletes. They're so fun. They're so fun. So I have to know, before we even start talking, motherhood, wrestling, what defines you? I think it's doing both, like having the ability to step out onto this mat and also be a mom and be able to find ways to find support, really, to support that I can have these dreams, but also get to enjoy being a mom and, and being a part of their lives and them developing and growing up has been really joyful in my life and actually making wrestling a little bit easier. You are on a world stage performing at the most elite level you can possibly perform, but you birthed two humans, yes. right? How did your body change? What was the journey from motherhood to getting back on the mat? It's a lot. I mean, I don't think I understood. And I, there's, you know, there's literally a billion people who understand this, but motherhood is crazy. Mm -hmm. Like birth is traumatic in this experience where all of a sudden you created a human, like it's the closest thing I've ever felt to nature. And then all of a sudden you are responsible for their lives. Like you feed them, you nurture them, you have help them grow. And it's been so special to be a part of that cycle. And yeah, just like thank your parents. <laughs> <laughs> they did a lot, <laughs> but it's been it's been really cool to be just kind of a part of that journey. What are some things that you underestimated about the journey coming back to wrestling after you had twins? Yeah, there's a few things. Honestly, I really thought that the six week mark, I was going to be like back working out. And I think that's such a misconception that you like after your after birth, six weeks later, you're like back to your life. Mm -hmm. And mine was six months of recovery. And it was so much longer to even get back to doing normal things and start to get cleared to lift weights and all sorts of things. Um, I ended up having a abdominal separation from the Ooh. babies being big. And so like she tore her abs. my abs tore <laughs> from the babies being big and healthy and wonderful. So it's just this interesting interesting dynamic of like this joyful thing. The babies were healthy and wonderful, but my body also didn't respond the way I wanted it to. And I think that was challenging, especially as an athlete. I was like, oh, I'm built for this. You know, I'm going to be so good at growing these babies and giving birth. And then that experience wasn't what I wanted it to be. And like, that's wrestling sometimes. Mm. You underestimate some circumstances and you're like, that wasn't the experience I wanted from that tournament or from that practice. And now, of course, she's finding it difficult to get out. Can she turn the tide? And having to rebound and still show up the next day and still be who you need to be for those little babies or for your competition is, is definitely something that I felt like wrestling prepared me for those things. Oh, we hear them, it's so cute. I think a lot of people are still trying to find their puzzle pieces. They're mm -hmm. trying to find the blueprint. They're trying to figure out, is this the right blueprint for them, for them to be successful? And I feel like I have mine. I'm literally just making tiny little tweaks, just making sure I'm hydrated enough, making sure I have enough sleep, like, but I know what those pieces are. And so I do, I feel dangerous knowing that all I have to do is execute this plan. I'm not questioning whether the plan is right or not. Adeline, it's great watching you succeed and just doing all the things that you need to do to be so successful in Paris 2024, the road to Paris 2024. Before I let you go, I need one word of advice that you would have for any woman athlete who is dealing with her body changing or dealing with birthing humans or dealing with trying to keep her mental settled in trying to succeed. I think a lot of it's grace, just giving yourself the time and space and then showing up for yourself, just giving yourself the chance to have some grace in those moments to try to work out, to try to get things done. I mean, I think a lot of times we question whether or not we would be able to do it. And if we just start to try and then you can move into the space of like, I'm just going to adjust this. I'm going to be happy with how I'm showing up today, even if it's less than what I had expected.